On this unbelievably quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to record audio of your rides in the Uber driver app. The best part, this is 100% free. So first off, you can see right now, I'm in the Uber driver app. First thing you're gonna do is go to the bottom left and click that blue shield. This will then pop up. You then wanna go to record audio and click set up. Now, once you do, this is gonna pop up. You can now record audio to encourage safe, comfortable interactions on trips. This empowers riders and drivers to monitor and report on comfortable situations. This is important. Hopefully you never have to use this audio, but it's there just in case. Now, this is important to understand about the way this works. You may be wondering like, okay, but how does it work? You know, can I post that audio clip on TikTok, for example, et cetera, et cetera. Your privacy is protected. Recordings are locked on your phone. You and your rider cannot access them. They're encrypted. Our support team can only listen to our recording if you want to add it to a safety report. So this is important to remember. These audio files are stored and are encrypted. You can't look at them. Uber can't look at them or hear them. I guess it may be a better way to word that. Your rider can't hear them. These are com completely encrypted and locked away. The only way someone can listen to them and listen to these recordings is if you open up a file or a case or something happens and you want to post it and use it as evidence to support your claim, which is pretty good. I also, I, I like that they have this. Remember that your state may have audio recording and consent requirements. I've talked about this in other videos when it comes to more recording people, not just in terms of audio, but video as well. Review your state's laws and the privacy best practices guide. Now, this is a big thing. Like I said, this is really only going to appear if, let's say, you file a dispute or something happens. We take safety reports seriously. If you file one, the safety team will review the recording you attach. Uber may provide the recording to law enforcement when, pre when presented with a legal request or in emergency situations. You can see right here, this is kind of what it would look like to somebody ordering an Uber that there's like a little note attached. Lyft does this as well, saying driver may have a dash cam to record chips for added safety. And then when I go to next or go to enable this feature on the iPhone, it's pretty typical for a lot of smartphones. Uber driver would like access to the microphone. I said, yes, of course. And then when I go to like, say, actually want to record, I go back to the same point. So I go back to that blue shield. Click, uh, the, I click the uh, record audio right there. You can see, I see start right there. I click it, I'm good to go. Now there's two big things I want to mention on this video. One, should you do this? 100% yes, 100% yes. It doesn't hurt, you never know. And I will say, it is a kind of unfortunate when it comes to recording audio, I'll talk about this in a second, that it doesn't affect you getting into an accident per se, right? This is something specifically with Uber, that if, if something goes down, to word it super simply, you have the audio recording just in case to explain your side of the story. If a passenger gets crazy, if a passenger does a bunch of different things, and it turns into like, oh, well, well he said this, or she said this situation, you have this audio file just in case. And remember, it is encrypted. So it's not the kind of thing you go back into and re-listen. It exists only there as like a, in case of emergency, break glass type situation. The second thing I really want to talk about, especially with this, is if you're like, well, Mark, I have a dash cam. Do I need to do this? Or if you're like, well, Mark, I was going to get it. I was going to get a dash cam, but this is free. Do I really need to do this and get a dash cam as well? 100% to both for a couple different reasons. One is like I said, when it comes to like, say, getting to an accident or whatever, there've been case after case after case. I've talked about this in other videos that basically you get to an accident, even ignoring Uber and Lyft. If you have that dash cam footage, it can greatly help you. The second thing is make sure you get the, the, the right type of dash cam. I've talked about this before. You want to have one that films both the outside of your car and the inside of your car. A lot of dash cams now are two way. You can even like Google or go on like Amazon for like ride share dash cam and they will pop up. But in addition to this, they have dash cams now that are three ways. So it films the front of your car, the back of your car, and the inside of your car. That's the best way to go. And yes, these might cost you anywhere between like 50 to like $400. It's a pretty big price spread. But I cannot, I cannot suggest enough. Make sure you get a dash cam. The biggest thing too, I think, is also the inside of your car. I think this is a good feature. There's no way I'm bashing this feature. 
but I do think it's a bit limited. And that's why I want to say this as a very important point on this video, don't think this is good enough because we've probably all seen these viral videos, unfortunately they go viral, where you know a group of girls or a group of guys does something in the backseat of the car, they say something, there's a back and forth between the, the passengers and the driver, and then you could see them doing stuff on camera or taunting, whatever. I think there's something to be said, of course, that an audio recording is a great piece of evidence. But having the video too goes even a longer way. There was a, a story I remember hearing about, and this footage went viral, where these girls were kind of talking to the driver. They were kind of being, not going to lie, a bit rude to him. When they stopped, the driver had a tip jar in the middle kind of, of his center console right here. And the girls grabbed the money, booked it out of the Uber. They did get charged. Luckily, they, they got caught. But he had the footage. If you only have this audio recording, could he have proved to me? Like, oh, like, I know it doesn't sound like much, but like that, like, shh, that you hear is them grabbing my money and they took my tips. I could see Uber saying, hey, well, can you prove it? Like, you don't have any video. Do you only have the audio, right? So I think there is something massively important to be said about having both the audio and video. However, at the end of the day, this is completely free and I highly suggest signing up and you should do this for every ride.